How to build a pit running druid. Ja ith burr. That's a strong start. Shaco for the headgear. Has to be done. Hodo. Oh, look, this guy already has that. Yeah, actually made it in a playthrough. Yeah. Seraphs for the Ami for more skills and because I don't have a Maris. Yeah. Mage Fists. Yes, I am indeed going for the 99 breakpoint. This ring will do for that while also providing me with some res. Spirit Shield to round it off in terms of FCR. Now let's focus a little bit on MF as well. 30 Nagel. Or 25, I guess. Some MF Charms. Some Trash War Travs. And upped Goldie to wrap it all up. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Wrap. Anyways, time to hit the pits at players 5, because this guy just can't handle player 7. Now before I get into the drops, I would like to post a disclaimer that there are literal TC87s that did not make it into the list. Like this one. And this one. What did make it into the list is, number 8, Ethereal Sacred Rondash. Rond... Ache? Anywho, the ethereal part is the thing that you should focus on because this makes this a pretty sweet contender for my future exile base. Especially with those 23 all res roll and I can just lazard this puppy and it's gone. Looks like someone forgot that e-bugging is no longer a thing in the remake. That's what I get for being a hipster, I guess. Number 7 was a TC87. Now although this was a useless one, I did that one thing again where I found a perfect version of a very rare item. Well, it has a perfect damage roll at least. A 300% ED Crane Beak. I will never use this. Number 6 was a Pog Assassin Circlet. Since this is on the list, you already know that this is going to be a 220. What made this even poggers was the fact that it came with dual cold and poison res and 21 to strength. On an assassin, that's 63 base HP. That's a pretty good circlet for a nilly runner if I've ever seen one. See? That was amazing, right? Pog is not a word that I use lightly, after all. Number 5 was a TC87 that I've been wanting for a while. Bone Flame. Now the reason that this gets on the list and the Dark Force spawn doesn't is because this I can actually see myself use against Ubers on a Summon Mancer. It does have the unfortunate roll of plus 2 to skills instead of the plus 3 but it has a perfect resistance roll to make up for it. The thing with the spawn is that getting a perfect 3-3-3 roll is super hard and even then it will mostly just be outclassed by spirit. With this thing however... This is also outclassed by spirit, isn't it? God damn spirit! Number 4. Okay, now we're getting into the good shit. Let's start off nice and casual with a high rune, an ohm rune that is. A very useful high rune for re-rolling that CTA for days, or making one of those more daring rune words like... Famine. Seriously, who makes that stuff? Number 3. Now, drop number 3 was my favorite item in the game. The unique dimensional shard Death's Fathom. And yet it is at number 3. That's because I didn't find this on a sorceress, it's not ethereal, and it only has 15% cold damage. My wall is too small for my 50s, and my diamond shoes are too tight. <laughs> I know, I know, but that cold damage really is a slap in the face. Still a pretty sick drop though, especially considering that this is my first one on the remake. Number 2, another high rune. You don't get that many playing on players 5 instead of player 7, but at least the ones I did get were pretty good ones. This time, it was a sir rune. Now, I can't remember one rune word this thing goes in. Okay, bramble. And seriously, who else can? However, its secondary use is so good that it makes up for all of it. However, since you need 2, this drop has to settle for number 2. Number one can stand its own ground. I have no words, for I don't need any words. It is the iconic Griffin's Eye. Now yes, it isn't the perfect roll, it's far from it. Well the lightning skill damage is perfect, but we all know that that means jack as compared to the almost anti-perfect roll on negative enemy lightning resistance. 
Still, it is a goddamn Griffins. It opens up the Lightning Sorceress, it opens up the Javazon, and it is my first on D2R. Probably a pretty good testament to how little I've played this game. So, that was my list. If you could, would you rank these differently? Let me know. Hope you found this content riveting. Yours truly, with love.